glad you brought that up because we played video games and they were on the phone with her girlfriend last night. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It is, it's amazing. And I do, I'm a video game guy. I mean, I had a girlfriend, I'm, obviously I'm married now, but uh, to the younger generation, man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, but I'm not, I'm not that old. I've kind of been in that swing of seeing technology catch up as fast as it's caught up in the last 10 years. I mean, uh, they're going to call me old when they watch this video because I remember when there were no cell phones. I remember the bag phone in the truck and what a cell phone has done to, uh, to this generation to me. It's a wonderful thing in a lot of ways and then I think it's hindered a lot of ways. I think a lot of people in a lot of ways. I think that so many people get consumed with, the, with their time and with what else is going on in the world instead of what's going on in your own world. And um, If you want to be good at something, if you want to be the best at something, you have got to the sacrifice is the hardest part. You know, it's easy to, when you're win it's no different than winning and losing. And that's what I tell kids about rodeo is being a winner is easy. That part's easy. It's losing that's not easy. When you're, when it's not going good, when your horses are sore and your roping's bad or your partner's not catching or whatever it may be, or your rigs broke down or your bank accounts <laughs> upside down, that's when the true test comes. You know, I always like to talk about the Rocky Balboa movie. One of, that's one of the coolest sayings is when he says, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit, keep moving forward. And to me, that's the biggest thing. If I could motivate somebody or talk to them is however much effort you think you need and however much drive you think you need, you need to double it. I mean, you need to double time, sacrifice, sacrifice the time that you spend on video games, on the computer, on your cell phone, on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all the things. I'm not saying you can't do it, but every single time you sit down for an hour and do this, there's some kid that's in the arena roping the goat for an hour or roping the dummy for an hour that's, he's now one hour better than you are. And that's something that as long as you have that competitive drive in you to where do you want to be good at Facebook or do you want to be good at team roping? So uh, I like to tell people, you can't, you can, it, it never, there are no secrets. Um, it's a matter of who's willing to work the hardest and you get out of it what you put into it. And that's my answer. I have a lot of parents come up to me and tell me their kids want to make the national finals or, or kids come up and say, I want to make national finals. And my first thing that these kids that live here with me can tell you is I, I'm, I, prove it, tell me, don't tell me, show me. That was my dad's famous line. So, uh, we can all sit around and talk about what we want and what we want to have, but that doesn't get us anywhere. I mean, the proof's in the pudding. You got to get after it and you got to, you got to work hard, keep a good perspective. And that's where winning and losing to me, uh, separates guys because I see a lot of talent out there and I see a lot of people that go through the motions and when the losing and the hard time comes is when they crumble and they don't have that foundation and that mindset to, to get through it. And